Bye, Chicago. Three days, 2,053 miles from Chicago to Los Angeles. Let's go. This is Get Lost on Amtrak. We're right here on the right. Welcome to my humble abode for the next 43 hours. See? Nice room with a view. So I'm in the hallway just outside my room and I want to give you a little tour of number four, my lovely roommate. The roomettes are built for one to two people with two seats facing each other. They are certainly cozy. There's not a lot of extra space, but amazingly it worked well. We had big picture windows, a small place to hang one or two jackets, and a pull-out table which fit our laptops. We also had one outlet to charge our phones and a light and call button. And when we squeezed, we could even both sit on the same side. And given space is limited, leave your big bag in the storage area. So in the roomettes, you have a top bunk and then the seats convert to a bottom bunk. And a helpful staff member turns down your bed each night. Right, right. Now this is the upper bunk. Okay. Okay, and this is the lower bunk mattress. It's already made when we leave the station. Okay. So I'm gonna bring it down here. Oh, great. And believe it or not, you just unfold. It unfolds. Great, thank you. So they have this nifty little harness right here. Because, you know, it's a train. Sometimes things can get a little bumpy. So they make sure you don't fall out, which I was a little scared about. And then the bottom bunk has a lot of room, so if you want to move about, maybe watch a movie or something, it's easy to. You have a net right here too, you can keep all your belongings. I have to say, I slept here last night, it's pretty comfortable. I don't really need much more. And if you need a little more space and you want to get outside of your room, you can come to the observatory car. Panoramic windows, comfy seats, as well as tables made this car very popular at all hours of the day. So the observatory car is a little more social too. It's easy to lounge, the chairs face the windows, great for hanging out. This certainly was my favorite spot and we spent a lot of time here playing games, meeting people, and simply admiring the views. Seeing Arizona at sunset was truly one of the most memorable parts of the trip. The bathrooms, though they are large, are equipped with everything that you need. And there are three of them, so you won't have to wait. The showers are reasonably sized, but I'd suggest to bring your own shampoo and soap. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, take a seat in the dining car at your reservation time. Here, tablecloths and large windows add to the ambiance. And if you are hungry between meals, there's a snack car downstairs. So if you want something small, like a snack or a drink, you can come down to the cafe car. It's open pretty much all day. It also has some pretty great views. 